Welcome back everyone to the Traum Disguises. I'm your host, Wilhelm II, lover, but whispers of revolution, oh no. Throughout Deutsch occupied Poland, there are whispers of a revolution brewing in the underground. Plastered on city walls are the words, Nisch zjez opor, and similar slogans calling for the resistance to fight against Deutsch op 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 occupation. Up until now, resistance activities have been limited to the distribution of propaganda, disruption of production lines, and the occasional bombing and sabotage, but now the resistance lays oddly quiet in the atmosphere in Poland. It's sick with treachery and mistrust. Deutsch. Agents across uh, Poland predict a full-scale uh, rebellion, sponsored by the Polish government in exile. Only by climbing down the resistance can Das Deutsches Kaiserreich hope to achieve a reign on Poland. We must run up these traitors. If resistance in the kingdom of Poland is 50% or higher, uh, there will be a little Warsaw uprising, but, you know, whatever. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yes. Spain. Now, has Spain been called in? Do they join the war effort? Maybe, maybe. Even though we are ready to go, too. Please join the war, Spain. Please, please, please. Finland. Hopefully it won't survive too much, but you never know. I like do like seeing when they do force defense. Which means we can just literally just butcher their division sometimes. Sometimes. Of course, these guys are only 18 combos, which we will need to increase their combo with as well, but you know, whatever. Evan Rommel falls ill. But we should do okay against the Finns. Guys, you don't want to go to war? Also, I did install the fast war justification mod uh, for Hoi 4, so. We're feeling okay. Just because, like like I said in the last episode, it just takes too long to just fly and whatnot, so it, it, you might as well just do it at this point. I think you're not doing much here. Most are getting a little bigger. A little bigger and a little thicker. Alright, let's we'll see what happens with them. That's inky, yes. That'd be great. Also, we should probably start really thinking about getting into the bigger navy. We will need some chromium eventually, maybe. Uh, tungsten's a little, a little bit rough right now too. Mm. Forgot about a little bit. Can we go in and do well? What was this? The anti-fascist crusade. They're very democratic. Recovered from the civil war. All right, well, we'll see. Overall positive so far. Yes. Sonderkraft. Fahrzeug 251. Yes. And we're blitzing in. There is no mercy for, from us. But we don't believe in mercy. Ah, look at that. In the circumvent. Nice. Tank division zone? Not bad. Ah, uh, if we can circle those American divisions, that'd be fantastic. Eh, we got at least one division over there in circle. That's nice. Uh, oh, seven finished destroyers, huh? Didn't quite take those guys out. Um, what else is going on down here? So a lot of butchery. Basically, that's the best way to describe it right now. Oh, we got over here, huh? Well, time to go Helsinki. Where are you guys coming down here and liberate them? Ah, Helsinki's not ours. There's winds. Need more armored cars. Here we're going to go on Paki Paki Pakistan. Um, what else? Uh, I guess we can do that one too. Recruitment Station, Foreign Influence, Bangladesh. We're going to play war on them. I like that we went down here immediately. We're going to war with India, which makes sense too. In the meantime, we're also going to go ahead and just make more of. Uh, well, I guess we can do some more of that. What do we need? Artillery? We actually need more artillery pieces, huh? Alright. There you go. 30. Wow. Where are we headed to? Seville? They went a bit nuts, if I, in my own personal opinion, but that's alright. Sometimes we like when they go nuts. There they go. Nice. And we could get a war with Great Britain, too. I just don't think we're ready for it. 
Let's finish off the fins first. 72,000. Uh, they don't have any equipment. Actually, let's go look, see. Ship wise, they like us a lot. We could join their faction, but I don't really want to. The Covenant of the Mediterranean. That might be better to take out the, these guys first. I'll take out the rest of the Covenant around here as well. Because um, who's actually in it? Commonwealth of Nations. It might just be Britain that's in it. And that might make it easiest just to take them out because these guys are in here too, South American Confederation. So. You can probably focus on the Hungarians. And then we can focus on taking these guys out as well. Hopefully, once the Finns do. The German Empire lands on British soil for the first time since 1797. The British Isles have been invaded by foreign force. Today, a beachhead was established in the English soil. Thousands upon thousands of Germans disembarked in Britain for a great offensive to the north. The royal family has already been evacuated from their Buckingham Palace, and their destination is unknown. The world's wondered if this is the start of the end of the British Empire. The Brits will pay for Versailles, of course. And as you can see, we've done pretty darn well invading so far. And we're going to continue invading really well so far. And uh, basically take them all over. Because why not? Because we want to. Also, invading wise, it's not too bad. Um. I'm not sure how air superiority is looking, but the fall of London. The reports from London confirms that the English capital has been captured by the advancing German troops. Small arms fighting can still be heard from some boroughs, but no significant British force has been inside within the city. A detachment of Fosham Yegas have stormed the Buckingham Palace, but it's believed that the royal family was evacuated well in advance of the attack. For the first time since William the Conqueror, London has fallen to a foreign invader. Another victory for the Vaterland. Oh, we definitely don't have red air. Oh, we definitely do have red air here, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, they don't have planes all the way. The Paul of Gibraltar. After several conflicting reports, we confirm that Germany, Gibraltar has fallen to Germany. Oh, yeah, we're fighting through here, too. The distributed strategic port city guards at the entrance to the Mediterranean, and it was highly regarded as impregnable uh, before the war started. The British garrison retreated into the tunnels falling underneath the rock, but were eventually dislodged by flamethrowers and grenades. With Gibraltar in German hands, there's been a dramatic shift in the power in the Battle of the Meb. Another victory for the Vatalam. I love how they have zero planes here. We don't have that many planes, but we do have some, like, land based planes, so. And their planes have left. Wow! Wow, I don't really want to destroy the British Navy, you know, because I want to use it for ourselves, because we will need them, while we all that, uh, to invade America, so, because that's the biggest obstacle, because we take out Finland, and we actually annex them, but we don't own all of, like, Greater Finland, so we can't, like, release a puppet, which, which really sucks, so, in the meantime, though, we also want to go to war with China, so, that's going to kind of suck, too, fuel refining, I've been trying to build up a lot of supply ports, supply ports, supply bases and dumps and whatnot all around here, but uh, it's China, so it's going to suck. But it's living. We also, I did some of the tanks down here too. They are definitely struggling against the Hungarians, which really sucks too, but whatever. Um, we lost quite a few guys. Hungary lost 63,000. We killed off 83,000, so it is what it is. I want you guys to stop attacking and hold. Hold your positions for now. We just don't have enough medium tanks, that's pretty much it. I want you guys to get back here too. I want to make them thicker too. Air wise, I don't understand how we don't have air superiority because we don't have enough planes on them, that's why. Um... Ah, oh, okay then. We got them. Now we do. We are competing with the United States, which does suck. Um, even if we get them up here, they're part of the, this group, which is going to be possible to take out, so. We do have. A uh, not enough score. Now we're taking Northern Ireland, you ding-dongs. They took London. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? They do not deserve that. We deserve all this, god dang it. Of course, there's Poland there, too. How did... Are they seriously puppeting that? Oh, my god. That's so stupid. Well, I guess I take Suez. Um, oh, the we gotta take British, oh, British Malaya. Because we're down here too, but I forgot about that. Mm. Catholic Mexico. Not seeing too much down there. It's kind of a mess. I want the Suez. 
I have to get the Suez. Yeah, that's so stupid if we didn't get it. Are you kidding me? We can't get the ships? Oh, god dang it. That's incredibly stupid. Very, 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 very stupid. This is not fair. That's complete crap. Wait. Hold on. They're completely by themselves. What? No, oh, they pieced out. Ah. We'll do that too. Yeah, that's stupid. The capital stew. Oh, and you also do this too. Combined tanks. Mexican Republic joined. Spain was called in. No one cares though, since they're already dead. What are you doing here? Embargoing us, huh? Alright, well. Guess you're next. Seventy as we should. And we'll see what we do. Forty days, not bad. We can do with that. Cool. Got Miss Channel joined in, which is fine with us. For three tanks. Good, good, good. Um, not really much else. I do want to form the Grand Duchy of Finland, but like, like I said, we can't do it. First, the bomb. We can allow others to develop an atom bomb for us. We we'll do whatever we can to ensure technological superiority is not threatened. Pretty much. Rocket artillery sounds like fun. Great Burn Cypher is done. Nice. Good. And we're back at war with them again. So that was basically a waste of time. And then this is ours again. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Hello. Raid those convoys. Tons of convoys dying. What's what they get and deserve? I didn't want to sink all the convoys, but, you know, they forced us to. Look at that. Comet sighted. Oh, you're but that was great. The end is near for our enemies. I don't like that base anyways. Oh, uh, old jokes. Super, super, super old jokes. Oh, I need... Oh, god dang it. That's stupid. There he goes, ball. Nice. Nice. Wow. Just a complete burst task. We're just decimated. Oh my god, what happened here? Look at that. Two battleships, 15 destroyers, two heavy cruisers. I wanted to keep them, but they didn't want me to keep them. Oh boy. Convoy. And there goes the UK once again. Yes, we destroyed the UK once, but how about, how about again? More, more, and of course, more. What are we missing here? Support equipment and medium tanks. Understandable. Support equipment. There we go. See what you can do. In the meantime, is this the best effective use of our resources? Probably not fighters, 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 
Nice. Light cruisers go bye bye. Convoys really go bye bye. And we should be able to go to these guys too. We're doing okay against China. Okay, not great, but okay. No supply. And the roads really suck badly, too. Land grab nice. Cool. There we can. Convoys, subs, go bye bye. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Well, let's kill these guys off first. I have a truce. When does the truce expire? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? I didn't even want this stupid truce like that. Yep, we have the tanks over here, anyways. Let them do their damage. Oh, we destroyed four carriers in a battleship. Holy crap. And the pride of the fleet. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. That's how I get her done. Denmark there to there invade Labrador maybe Lagarda Brussels Treaty signed and a move that reminds the world the world is not yet behind us several of the former allied powers announced the signing of a new treaty in the Brussels today although also sensibly been today is a treaty of mutual civil military cooperation few are left in any doubt as the message of the sense of the civil leaders and the allies of the Soviet Union several states caught in the middle of this geopolitical tension have taken the opportunity to declare a principle of formal neutrality troubling development well okay then oh, hello why didn't Spain get back here Where did the Americans go? Why are they just... Oh, Greek boys, huh? Can they pierce our armor? Yeah, they can. It sucks. I'm gonna force it. They're dying over here, which is good. They're dying all across the line now. Good. That's what they deserve. Nice over here too. And you go in. And you did well. Beautiful. Build that cruiser, build them up. This is stupid. Jet engines. The next year's as well. If we can sink most of the American fleet. That's probably how we're gonna win. God, they're attacking like a bunch of rabid animals. So, how big are you? 18 convoy? Huh. How many Chinese have we killed? Not enough. It's always the answer, never enough. Do 
We take a chain China. We take a chain China. Then we can go this direction too. And start slaughtering all along that way. Wouldn't be a you bad know, idea. these peace deals are gonna kinda suck. Well, we've gone back to War with Hungary. We've taken out Sweden as well right now. Um, as you can see, we're going to War with Hungary as well. Let them do their little thing. Sweden is falling to us too. Uh, oh, let the tanks go in as well. Tank Arenos. You gotta lead the way, tank boys. You gotta lead the way, even though you might be struggling just a wee bit. That's still okay. Go in there. Budapest needs to fall. It really does, even though they can probably still pierce us. We have a lot of infantry going into. But that's alright. Uh, we lost a lot of guys ourselves, of course, so that's pretty normal, though. Uh, Fate of the British Empire would be very cool, but we need to annex them, but we can't annex them, unfortunately, which sucks, but we'll see. And, oh, there goes Hungary. Finally, thank God. In the meantime, so, Cuba, why is Cuba a major power? Oh, we need to take out these guys, Communist kind of China. Regular China. Um... Well, I got to go to America as well. We did want to go to war with Romania, too. I'm going to throw you guys over here for now, because you guys are all over here. We're going to go to war with Romania, because... Oh, why not? More anti-air? Sure. Okay. I guess we could just use a lot more of that. Which is fine with us. Stockholm? Yes. As we are here still in China, so we're actually doing, like I said, quite well. Um, uh, let's give us a little more time, and we'll do okay. Uh, let's continue building more air bases up too, because we are trying to build a massive, massive air force. Nice. Ten more destroyers sunk. Very good. Level 8, Gunther Lutjens. I always chew donuts, or, uh, boim, but I chose not to this time. I was like, nah, not this time. Why are you guys not going in? Please go in, and then take out the Norwegians. That should be in fine invading. Group guided missiles. A little ahead of time, but I don't really care at this point in the campaign. The biggest issue will be trying to invade America, which I'll probably try to invade America during this episode in the match. But just trying to get here to um, do well on here. We got China. Um, they're still attacking us randomly. It is fine as well. Ah, Sweden. Oh, those perfidious Swedes. Good, good, good. Hello. Oh, he's out on there. Pennsylvania. Get quite a few guys. Let them get over there real quick first. I want you to just nail invade. You should be able to just do it immediately. Yeah, these ships are gonna go blow up. We got them, nice. Ah, they have a heavy cruiser. Ah. Oh, you didn't want to bring him in? Oh, that sucks. So we invade there too, but whatever. Another light cruiser, yes. Happy 45. It's going to take us a while to get to wherever we want, but you know, whatever. Alright. So, air superiority wise, how are we doing? Not great down there. We're doing, we're doing some damage. Now we're doing okay over here. You doing alright? So, for them, nobody's next. Probably not this episode, but the next episode we will take out Iceland, go through here, go through there, and take forever. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate America. I hate America so much. What? Oh, back out, though. This is fallen. Because when they do this, they're just going to send up the top. Oh, actually, yeah. Straight up That's nice. So now you guys can go back here and kill off every single division here. Cause this is a bunch of crap. Look at all that. Three battleships, nice. Of course, it is nice when they do this so that we can just, well, they had nothing. 
They literally do like nothing just going on for themselves. So actually. Maybe they can split up whenever they need to. Still learning here, which is good. Um Better military police. Better suppression. Yes and please. All they're doing by doing this is just killing out their own manpower. Go in. Destroy them all. So over here, it's not going to be very good, but we can still do, try this and do the best we can. We should be able to get rid of these guys. They have, like, no supplies. Engines, our tanks, magnetic detonators, computer stuff. We really need to get some more subs too. These guys will fall very quickly. Um, they want to go to war. Those guys, I do want to kill these guys off as well, but we need more soldiers here, really. I really want to wait for the China campaign to end first. Come on. America has how many more soldiers left? Quite a few. About 300,000. Or 300,000, no, 300 ish. China is what are they doing? China these things. It's gonna take some time, that's all. Ah, no. Netherlands. From the Kunakrak Rumanin. Remaining. Remaining. Yeah, I gotta wait till the Soviet Union's completely capitulated though. Good. Oh my god, you're on the other side of here too? Pretty suicidal, I'd say, but whatever. Just in case, it's just fine on them again. But next up, the next is I'm going to try to make it the last one. Even though it might take forever, it might not. But we'll see. Because once America's dead, like, it should be relatively pretty easy to take everyone else out. Close them up. Kill them all off. China is slowly falling apart, especially near Beijing. It's definitely where we want to see all the success. Again, you guys have literally nothing here. Like, it's literally no manpower, no guns, nothing. And it's quite the grind. And that's why we still make tactical bombers. No, uh, I'll go into that just in case. Cool. You guys are down there, you guys are over there. And let's send you guys up here. Should do okay. I do want to go, you know, these guys, but probably not. Uh, we get throw more divisions right here, but the supply is just so bad that we're, I'm not going to deal with it for now. Um, honestly, we'll probably start invading Iceland too. Probably invade Iceland. Who here an invader? Well, six percent tanks definitely not. Infantry leader, and yeah, it's gonna be you. So you'll go from here, United Kingdom. Well, I guess we'll go from here to there. So that's six. The Rejavik. Here. To there. But I think I'm going to end it there, even though we didn't do as much or get as much done as I really wanted to. And the next episode, I'm just going to be playing a lot off screen uh, to make sure we get all the way over here and hopefully beat up the Chinese too. So, but we'll see what happens when we get there. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also make more progress and finally see what the puppets are all like for the Traum Disguises. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.